Welcome to writingalong.com. Today's episode is all about helping writers become authors and how you make that transition from just being someone who writes, you know, enjoys it, uh, really is just immersed in, just in love with the craft or, you know, you just do it every now and then uh, versus an author. An author is someone who uh, publishes something and puts something out into the world and you can really publish yourself now. Like it's not, there's no gatekeepers anymore, much like music as I off, so often compare in these episodes. Uh, there's no record label that you have to get accepted by to say that you're you know a musician with an album out there the bar is it's gone like that per that toll person you don't need them anymore and first of all like get that getting to that point you may still want to go the traditional publishing route cool um eventually i'm going to pivot a lot of this writing along stuff into self-publishing and independent publishing in an elegant way in a way that's you know respecting of the craft and continuing the tradition um, in a in a righteous way, you know, but and still sticking to this writing advice, 100 days of writing advice. Um, I'm just going to help you get to the point where you can make that decision yourself. And again, helping a writer become an author, becoming an author is finishing a manuscript, having something done, having something completed, uh, having multiple things that are completed. You know, if you're an author of multiple books, that stands for itself. That means something. Uh, that tells you that you have some kind of, you know, dedication. Not only do you have the skill, not only do you have the talent, but you actually have uh, this like trinity, you know, and it's it's like kind of dangerous in a sense of just being like, wow, that's something. Um, not many people do it. So you can do that too. And all you have to do is just, like I said, finish stuff. It, it's really, that's the transition period. Uh, but again, it's just finish your writing. It's that easy. It, it's not right. I mean, it's kind of grueling sometimes it feels like, especially when beginning. Um, but you just have to kind of be less afraid to be fit, to put stuff out there. Like, don't fear what the ending is going to look like. Don't fear what how people are going to react to it, that kind of thing. That's what stops you from becoming an author because there are going to be people who don't really like what you wrote. And it's not even because your writing was bad or something like that. That's just because it didn't reach them at the point in their lives when, it, you know, it, it, it could have reached them at a different point in their life and they would have liked it. Um, and if they didn't, I mean, it, you can't predict that kind of stuff. You really can't the reaction from your audience is something that's not really it's not your responsibility it's really not your responsibility is to get out of what's in you and you're not going to be doing that you're not going to be fulfilling your responsibility as a writer if you're keeping everything in um, if you're not feeling confident about sending out a story if, if you don't want to publish something on your own send it go manuscript shopping you know go publisher shopping um, and hand it out there get it out into the world show people and realize that they're one little thought they have on it, you know, you're going to get one little piece of negative feedback. And I don't think feedback has to be negative on writing either. So if you get someone who's just attacking and just berating your writing, they're not coming from a good place. They're not coming from a place to actually help and develop you as a writer. And what they're saying probably doesn't matter. Usually writing feedback and constructive criticism is stuff that it's not even really a critique. It's more just a reflection on it. And you make a decision based on that reflection and what that change it signifies and creates in you. Uh, so as, like I said, as a writer who wants to become an author, come up with a manuscript and don't worry. It, it might, if you want to use this designation of good and bad, if you're just obsessed with that idea, that's cool. Let, let's run with that. Let's go with that right now. You release your manuscript. It sucks. It's bad. But you're an author, aren't you? You finish something. And guess what? You can finish something else. Maybe it sucks a little less. And I don't really like to see writing as good or bad in that sense, but if that helps you, all the power to you. It's much more fun to be an author than a writer with nothing out. It, it really is. It, it solidifies the idea. You can tell people, um, I'm not just a writer. You know, like ev everyone's a writer, but how many people say everyone's a writer? You know, I want to I wanna do this. I want to do that. I want to tell stories. I want to write fiction. I want to write a, have a memoir. All this. I want to be a writer. Everyone technically is. Everyone and their mother and their friend and their dog, they're all writers. But who's an author? No one. No one really is. You're not meeting authors on a day to day basis. I won't say I guess you work in the literary field. But even then, like, you're really not. Um, even a lot of people you think wrote books are, they're ghost written. So you got to be aware of that as well. Becoming an author, it, even then, even in the world of ghost writers, it's still important. It's still different it's still a cornerstone of identity that you can have for yourself um, it's much nicer to identify with yourself as an author as opposed to just a writer again because like i said it stands out it can open doors in your life it really can 
if you are an author, you'll be welcomed and you'll be invited. Like some, I've talked about this before in other episodes. It's something that it's like a preface to you. It's like the before people even form an opinion, they're like, "Wow, you're an author." Like that. Whoa, you know that kind of will dictate certain perceptions. It, it doesn't. It's not everything. It's not all you are as a person. There's still the per, like element of your personality and how you come across. But it, it's definitely a nice addition to have in your life. And it allows you to focus on writing a little more, too. You're not as obsessed with what you're portraying. You can just focus on being an author, being a prolific author. Uh, you, you can. I recommend being prolific, not because everything you make is going to be the best thing ever, but because the stuff you'll never know what that good is, what that stuff that it hits, what that goal is, that place that you reach where every, people respond and react to your writing positively. They like it. It connects with them, which is the most important part. It speaks to them. More important than how all this other kind of stuff are popular it is i you'll never know if you wrote something that reaches that place if you never put anything in the world out there that's disconnected from you it's hard to do that it's hard to let go of your works it's hard to even put something on the internet it's hard to put a blog post out it's hard to do a post you got to think about how it looks and how people are going to react to it but you don't make an instagram post or a tweet a tweet and say okay i'm an author look at that little tweet I, I wrote a caption for an Instagram thing. An author is usually something a little more, it, it, you're creating your own place, like you're creating your own, uh, you're building your own home for your own thoughts, for your own words. You're not just moving into someone else's home and just saying, hey, look at it, this is all this, this is all that, and it's just like um, an echo. You know, it doesn't really become or stay anything. No, writing is like a representation of all, all of these things, and they stand, they, they're still, and people can observe People can make their own opinions about it. People have to be invited into it. They have to let themselves in. If you let people in, that's what authors do. They don't have the door shut. Someone knocks, hey, come on in. The door's open. It's open day and night. Um, you don't worry about anybody stealing anything. It doesn't matter. They just they can't take it from you because it's just it's this fixed entity that creates dynamic responses in the world. Your writing is influential it creates waves it creates ripples that you can never predict that you can't measure you can't measure it's not there's nothing like that going on with writing it doesn't exist when you have a book out there when you're an author you exist as this person in this temporary life that you're inhabiting you get to have some kind of action some kind of agency that you inspire in others not just you you're not a puppeteer of people you're not just this master of human psychology and you're just this controlling powerful being it, it's not about that it's more or less just about taking a conscious and actionable step in your life and taking many of those steps as an author that represents a lot if you can do that what what can't you do i really like to help writers become authors because when they do that other things open in their lives not just because they're an author like oh they're so special but let me give them a, a 500k paying a uh, year paying job like oh let me uh Invite them to the White House. Like It's not that kind of stuff. Maybe, right, in some scenarios. But for the most part, I mean, you can get to those whatever point you want, whatever limits you think you have, you break free of them when you switch from being a writer to an author. If you can write a book, if you can like publish a poetry collection, get a memoir out, what can't you do? Really, answer that question for me. You did something that most people never will in their lives that most people dream about it's a joke it's a running joke in people's lives like oh i'm gonna write a book and they never do it's the focal point of entire uh you know like plots of famous works films and stuff that oh, i gotta write i don't really feel like it. i can't do it something's stopping me and if you do it and if you do it again and again and again oh you know the world is just it's open for you to figure out whatever else you can do you can do anything it's it's like realizing this ability in you. And as a writer, it's like you have the stepping stone. That's that's the gateway. A publisher is in the gateway. Finishing something, having a manuscript done. If you, I really believe if you have a finished manuscript already, even if it's not published, even if you haven't published it yourself, you haven't sent it out, you're an author. You are, because you've done it. You, It's done. It's made. It's you got to take the next step and do all that stuff. But you did the hard, you front-loaded the work already, the hard, actual writing part. And as a writer, becoming an author that step is so transformational in many areas in your life that I can't help but recommend you stop waiting around in the writing pool you know you're just sticking around there and you're not really doing anything 
you're just kind of it's fun it's great it's there you do get some benefits just writing your thoughts out to yourself you know journaling stuff like that it, it does come with its own benefits for your life but the biggest change that's when you change from just a writer oh you know i get my ideas down i you know i have a couple writings you know i'm a writer everyone's a writer everyone is they found a uh a Martian, you know, a Mar he's a writer too. Everyone's a writer. And you don't have to just stick around in that form. You could. But that transformation in an author, you want to get there. And you can. You really can. You As a, someone who is a wordsmith, you know, like words come to you. And you write them down and they tell stories. The path is set for you. The path at least has been confirmed. It's been validated. It's real. You can follow it. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make it your own. It's gonna look different from mine. It's gonna look different from the writers before you. It's just writer your contemporaries. It's uh, forget me. I just mean, who cares how my writing journey looked? I, I care about how yours is gonna look. What it looks like. And you're never gonna find it out if you don't really pursue it. Finish your work. Finish your um, books. If you want to write a book in 30 days, check out this guide I have at writingalong.com. Uh, com completely free. Uh, no marketing BS that I really have to add on to it. I mean, it just it's everything I learned along the way, and I want to share it, much like all these 100 Days of Writing Advice videos. Um, yeah, of course, it's just as easy as saying, oh, just finish your stuff. But I mean, know why you're finishing it, and also know that there's not too much pressure in it as well. You can always write another book. And being a prolific author, that says a lot about you. Now put some stuff out there into the world, okay? Put your perspectives out there. Thanks for stopping by on this episode. I appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next episode.